Honda Championship Wrestling. The Summer Showcase continues on the heels of a wild golden opportunity tournament. Slice Boogie gets it done, sets up a dream match that might be a nightmare for his hermano Danny Limelight. But we got a lot coming your way, including women's division action as Brittany Brooks takes on Johnny Robbie, and that's not all. That's right, we have the Institution taking on 24K. Of course, the Institution's Jack Bannock successful in that bodega street and, fight from Golden Opportunity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely, Gilbert, shoot. And Derby City Wrestling's Rocco Bellagio also in action right now. But, I mean, just what state is the bodega in after Slice Boogie? One Golden Opportunity, but a no-show to help the rest of the bodega. Maybe a going out of business sale, but we're very much in business. We got great action coming your way. scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Tacoma, Washington, weighing at 183 pounds, Jason Levels! Jason Levels, we've seen him in the United Wrestling Network in the past, promising young athlete. There's levels to this game, and he's looking to ascend. Absolutely, They're looking to rise up, but he has a tough, tough task in front of him. And introducing his opponent, Jersey Shore, weighing in at 265 pounds, Rocco Bellagio. Rocco Bellagio, what a showing he gave against Big Haas to earn his wild card spot in the Golden Opportunity. And what a performance in that opening round match as well. Did not advance, and that's got to, can't sit well with the big guy. Yeah, not, not the result that he wanted, but you know, now a chance here to get back on the winning track. And like you said, it was a heck of a showing, despite the fact that he didn't get the win. And Rocco just couldn't get there in the in the in the nick of time to to, to stop uh, from tapping. Well, there you have it. You got levels taken on. The longest reigning champion in Louisville history. How exactly is the way, the proper way to say uh, Louisville? The Louisville. Louisville. Put, put the rocks in your mouth. There you Louisville. go. Louisville. Now, tell you what, Levels has some rocks of his own to be taken on Rocco Bellagio. And Bellagio, just such a powerhouse. And there's a. Uh, it's not having the no, effectiveness no, no. that I think Jason desires, but that's start, starting to maybe have a little bit of an effect here. Soften him up. Up and downstairs, downstairs. Oh there's, boy. Oh boy. If there's level to levels to Jason Level's game, then he's gonna want to switch to the speed level because you're not gonna want to match strikes well, or power with Rocco doing just Bellagio. That. Well, when you talk levels, I, I immediately gravitate and think video games. Well, look at this, staggers him back, but he finds himself in a big time boss battle here with Rocco. Bellagio. Yeah, yeah, skipping to the end is Jason Levels, but you know, nice flurry of offense right now here in the early going. Maybe but he Rocco still hasn't, overlooking it. Oh he, boy. He still hasn't taken Rocco off of his feet, James. No, not yet. And might not be able to, and Levels is off of his, and he might not get back up. Agility's not gonna be the uh the factor in this one, sorry oh to say. And now the the elbow pads are off, in essence, the gloves are off, and Bellagio, the no doubt standout, starts to go to work. Power Slam City USA. And Rocco Bellagio is a big impact, power move type competitor. When he gets his hands on you, he's gonna hurt you. Don't take my words for it, just look at Jason Lovers right now. Yeah, Rocco taking out some frustration after a golden opportunity, signaling for it. Show stealer, he'll steal your uh, consciousness with shots oh, like that. What a power slam. Gets and, him up. Yep, like looking, a rag doll. Looking for the payoff. Wow, oh. high elevation. Fire off the fountains. Can you say whiplash? Good night. You can say three. Jason Levels. Here is your winner, Rocco Bellagio. Well, you want to talk about Whiplash, that's a classic Metallica song. Another one has hit the lights. The lights were dim for Jason Levels. Let's take a look at that payoff choke slam. Took him up to the lights. 
came crashing down. And Bellagio, the no doubt standout, is no doubt a huge force to be reckoned with in the United Wrestling Network. More coming your way here on Championship Wrestling. Where is he? This ain't like Mickey. No call, no show. Just, just relax, bro. It'll be cool. I'm sure he's fine. You know, I bet the institution did something. <sighs> I'm sure he's cool. He'll be here. He'll be here. Hey, guys. Hey. I just got some news. Uh, Miggy's been involved in a little bit of a car accident. Not cool. He's okay. He called me, told me himself. He's got a bit of a head injury. He's at the hospital getting checked out. So, for tonight, if you want this tag match to happen, you're going to have to step up to the plate. Tag with him. Cool by me. Yeah. Cool by you, bro. Are you sure Mickey's okay? He's okay. He's okay. Oh, He'll be man. okay. I mean, I guess it is what it is. Hey, it'll be cool, man. You got me. Good luck, guys. Thanks, Bell. We'll make this work. We'll be cool. Yeah, you're you right. And this guy. The road to gold continues. I love to drive. It's my me time, my getaway, my escape. Nothing can ruin it, except for a car breakdown. That's why I called CarShield. CarShield administrators help get those repairs paid. I trust CarShield with my baby, and you should too. CarShield has plans that include protection on major parts and systems like the engine, transmission, entertainment system, air conditioning, electronics, and more. CarShield administrators go the extra mile by including rental car options. You also get emergency services for flat or damaged tires, lockouts, dead batteries, and courtesy towing, all at no additional cost. Darlings, saving on expensive car repairs is just a phone call away. For me, it's a no-brainer. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in costs for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantees. Call crack. Wash all you want. Don't drive dirty. You What's up, brother? Hey, you seen LaQuasto around this joint? Look, I haven't seen LaQuasto around here. He's actually in Louisville, Kentucky, handling some women's title tournament business, so you got producer Peter Avalon handling business. Where the hell is the institution, boy? Whoa, 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 relax now. I don't know what's going on with you guys in the institution, but they're busy tonight taking on 24K, and they're doing that next. So what else can I do for you guys? Well, we got a score to settle with those clowns. Okay, so what do you want to do about it? What should I do? What should we do? I don't book. This isn't my show. Look, I... well, perhaps I can be of some assistance. Who the hell are you, boy? That's Aaron Williams from Derby City Wrestling. Who? Watch your mouth. Well, you're going to find out pretty soon who I am anyway, because, yeah, the Heritage title thing didn't exactly go the way the Dead Ringer would like it to, but I figure a run in the tag ranks I might take a crack at. You... You, mm, no, and I know who your partner is, buddy. I don't know. I don't know about that. See, I, 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 I kind of thought you might say that, but I hear me out. Maybe I'll just pick another partner. Like, let's get real creative with it. I'll just pick one of the fans. A fan? Yeah, a ticket buying fan. They uh, hold up their ticket, I'll pick one, and then me and the fan. We'll take on these fellas. You think you're gonna come into our territory, challenge two of the baddest dudes in the tag team division in the Wild West? I don't think so. Bro. No, you know what? He is, and what? it's gonna happen tonight. I wanna see it. I wanna see it. So you know what? You and a fan against you two. And you know what? Main event on the episode tonight because right. producer Pete's here. Good luck, all y'all. Thanks, brother. Easy day, dude. <laughs> Went better than I thought. See y'all fellas later? Yeah, whatever, dude. <laughs> This is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, 
at a combined weight of 380 pounds, the team of Michael Hopkins and the party captain, Guy Cool! Guy Cool stepping into action as part of 24K. They're dripped in gold, and Guy Cool just missed out on his opportunity to compete in the Golden Opportunity Tournament. Yeah, I was going to say, Guy Cool looks like he's a week late for the prom. That was Golden Opportunity, but uh, the synergy for 24K, not lost on me, but we'll, we'll see how these two do without Mickey Rose. And introducing their opponents from Shady Pines at a combined weight of 401 pounds, Brendan Devine and Honest John, the Institution! Whoa, 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 look out here, the Institution wasted no time. But we're not still in a Bodega street fight here, guys. There are rules in this well, game. I, I'm not sure Devine knew that John was gonna do that. Honest John just going rogue like the hyena that he is. Rabid yeah, wolves. Rabid wolves is what you've described these guys as, right, TK? And yep. we certainly saw that in the Bodega street fight. Back to Jackals. The institution, the rest of them, are the reason that Jack Banning is still the television champion. Right, trying to sort of harness that chaotic viciousness of Honest John. Working for the moment, we are officially underway. And the party captain already in dire straits. And Divine, a true powerhouse. And yeah, what a wild Bodega street fight that was. It went. Blood was spilled by Papo Esco, but was blood betrayed by Slice Boogie. Yeah. The Slice Boogie did not come to the game when Papo Esco and Danny Limelight were outmatched by the numbers game of the institution. Slice was more focused on his golden opportunity match, which came later that night. And, well, maybe that was a, a good decision because Slice won the golden opportunity. Now, for Guy Cool, who finds himself in the corner of the institution in an unenviable place for anybody and uh, shows his resourcefulness now, <laughs> Guy Cool, one of the most popular competitors in Irvine Improv, so this place is bizarro land, but uh, sticking and moving right now. Guy Cool has been a manager of tag team champions in the past, but in the past, when he stepped into tag team title competition, didn't bode exactly quite as well. Well, okay, but you have to also say that because of the free bird rule enacted by Midnight Heat, that also makes Guy Cool a former tag team champion. That is true, and that's a point I'm sure that he would be happy to echo. And now Michael Hopkins goes into the cover. What an athlete he is, Mr. Always Winning, main attraction wrestler. Yeah, that, that, the MAW, sort of his version of the Quan, just his whole mantra and essence. And 24K really, you know, a rising force in the tag ranks here in United Wrestling. Well, yeah, and, and recently gave TMZ a dominant tag team title team uh, everything they could handle and then some came very close. But yeah. first time we've seen, speaking of free bird rules, first time we've seen this exact uh, roster lineup for 24K as Hopkins goes for the cover on Divine, only finds two. Going well so far. Guy in the match after uh, Mickey Rose in a, in a car accident, not serious, but not able to be here tonight. And so that's what put uh, the party captain yeah in in this contest good thing that uh i was gonna call him the party starter but you know that too yeah guy cool good thing he must have been in a boating accident out there on his yacht or they would have it would have been a two-on-one situation here at championship wrestling all right now looking to capsize the institution is 24k oh and cool and hopkins looking really good right now this is a solid tag team 20, the solid gold, in fact, and they're in control, and we'll be back right after this. If you're afraid to offend, you can't be honest. That's Thomas Paine, a leader in the American Revolution. CarShield, America's most trusted auto protection company, spells out what's protected in coverage plans for your vehicle. If your vehicle is out of warranty, all you have to do is call before your car breaks down. CarShield preserves your right to save on repairs or replacements for major parts and systems while protecting your freedom to choose your mechanic or dealer for one affordable pay-as-you-go rate, a rate that will never go up. The future of this country rests on the people. The future of your car should rest with CarShield administrators. Call CarShield before it's too late. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantees. Call 800-453-5896.
Quick crack. Wash all you want. Don't drive dirty. Don't worry. It's fake. That's a good Fake bomb. That's a good fake class. Oh, I'll do it. I swear on my mother's grave. Fake threat. Fake dead guy. Fakes like those don't scare me. But fake meds, that's a different story. Verify your meds with safe.pharmacy. Protect those you love from bad meds. Welcome back, everyone. The tide turns in the break, and the institution back in the driver's seat. That's what they love to do, get you in the corner and make you pay the price. And just pick you apart. Again, we'll keep calling them jackals, hyenas, wild dogs, it all fits. Dingo, minions, now well, we're gonna do more than just eat your baby. They're in control here, and Honest John is uh, is the, really the loose cannon to this group. You never know what he's gonna do, but he is an incredible athlete in the process. So what is it when you're a loose cannon in a, in a crowd of crazies? Yeah. You're the craziest of them all? Yeah, if you're the, the crazy friend of an of a absolute psychopath, that says a lot. And that absolute psychopath would be Jack Banning, but what Jack Banning does best, in my opinion, is to play into the weaknesses, play into yes. the vulnerabilities of people and really use that to gain their loyalty. Yeah, he's a manipulator. John. He's, a, he's a liar, he's a cult leader, he's a manipulator, and he, yeah, he is very good at it. That's how he's built his institution. Yeah, perhaps the great manipulator, and now Divine, who is a expert tag team wrestler going for the cover. And as we've talked about, guys, with championships comes power. At one point, the Bodega had that, you know, when they had the television title tag team titles. They still have the heavyweight champion, but imagine if the institution defeats a team that came very close, no matter what the lineup, to beating TMZ. If they end up winning tag team title gold down the line, with Banning as the TV champion, they're gonna be tough to deal with. Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, you know, Jack Banning talks a lot about, you know, who holds the gold, holds the power. I sometimes doubt his intentions of draping the rest of his institution cohorts in gold, though. I think it's more about circling his own. Well, well, is clear. he benevolent or not? He's malevolent. There's nothing benevolent about Jack Banning. But that's how people like Divine got into the institution. Divine says that Banning gave him purpose, it gave him family, gave him main events. So why not take a residency at Shady Pines? Does there seem to be some dissension between uh, Honest and Divine? Well, I, yeah, we saw that right from the start when Honest John just charged right into the ring and just started attacking wildly. 24. Uh -oh. Divine had to harness him, and right now, Guy Cool's got John harnessed another way. I don't care who you are. How that wasn't you are. a singlet. That that just hurts. That's a, that's a weak point on anybody. Smoking some areolas into the cover, almost puts them away. The nipple loose. Let's go. Let's go. Honest back in control. But look, again, cutting off the ring here, guys. Yep. This is what they do so incredibly well. Very dangerous play. The Divine tagging himself in. Again, a little, you know, issues of communication, perhaps. Not quite on the same page. Is going to bite him. Guy Cool, cross body. Highly effective. Well, Guy, well, the institution's not on the same page. Guy Cool's gonna take an opportunity to get out of the ring, make this tag, which he's been needing to make for quite some time. And here comes the main attraction and Michael Hopkins. And Hopkins is fresh, guys. He spent a lot of time relegated on that apron. And this is a phenomenal athlete that can move and hit from all angles. And he's proven it right here, taking out Divine looking to take out on us, looking to divide and conquer, and Hopkins can do it. Yeah, one man of 24K just taking it to both members of the institution, looking to keep the momentum going, stack them. 
24K on the way and looking to tarnish the reputation of the institution. Oh my Innovative oh my God. offense here from the main attraction into the cover. Will it be enough? And Divine is out in two. Almost single-handedly beating the institution. How impressive is Hopkins? Two for one there. That was the uh, engagement and wedding band. One, two punch right there. Lots of gold. Got double under the well, this uh, setup has won a lot of wrestling matches in history. Yes, it has, but Hopkins not able to get what he wanted. Divine looking to use that power, but Hopkins almost sort of just lucking back into Guy Cool, who's now the legal man. Maybe we're gonna see some double team action here. Look out, yep, sweeping the leg, put him in a body bag. Here's the cover, Honest John looking to make the save. Oh, oh. calamity! Oh. Costly miscue from Honest John, lands on his own partner. Friendly fire, nothing friendly about it. Oh. Honest John's got the rebound. Oh, man, things are going bad to worse for the institution. Here's the cover. Cool wins! Cool Saga playing uh, out in the middle of the ring. You're seeing the wow. of victory right there, but that's the ag agony of defeat. Yeah, you, you talk about heat on the street. There's some heat here between these two members of the institution. Oh boy. Yeah, they, they, they just not been. Oh, and here, here comes the mastermind. Jack Fanning trying to keep everything cool between Honest John and Divine. Oh wait. Well, he shoved, you know, Divine, I think, shoved it right Divine in. put his hands on, oh boy. Now you got Savannah Stone out here. Trying to get some sense into Divine. Savannah Stone's trying to play. Oh, man. And now they're churning on their own. They eat their wounded. They are tearing Divine apart. Yeah, eat the rich. And eat the weak link of the institution. Apparently, they have targeted Divine. Oh, God. Divine. Banny's gonna choke him out. Banny's gonna choke out his uh, former mercenary. Divine inspiration, nothing. This is turning into divine annihilation. I think that uh, Brendan Divine just got a um, eviction notice from Shady Pines. The institution whittles down a member, but perhaps that makes them stronger. Who knows? We'll be back on Championship Wrestling. I love to drive. It's my me time, my getaway, my escape. Nothing can ruin it, except for a car breakdown. That's why I called CarShield. CarShield administrators help get those repairs paid. I trust CarShield with my baby, and you should too. CarShield has plans that include protection on major parts and systems like the engine, transmission, entertainment system, air conditioning, electronics, and more. CarShield administrators go the extra mile by including rental car options. You also get emergency services for flat or damaged tires, lockouts, dead batteries, and courtesy towing all at no additional cost. Darlings, saving on expensive car repairs is just a phone call away. For me, it's a no-brainer. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in costs for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call 800-284-5872. crack. Wash all you want. Don't drive dirty.
All right, I'm standing by now with Brittany Brooks, who got her first win recently against Savannah Stone. This week, you take on Johnny Robbie. Yeah, and honestly, it felt so good to get my first win here, even if it was by DQ. And look, I can't control Savannah Stone's emotion, but clearly neither can she. Speaking of Johnny Robbie. That's cute. I remember my first win. I mean, it was my first match here, and that's what led me to become the rookie sensation. But uh, anyways, other than that, I'm just here to remind you that I'm an exception to the rules, which means I can break them and make them. So, I'll see you out there, Rook. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. It's her seat first. Where she goes, trouble follows. The exception, Johnny Robbie. Women's division action coming your way. TK Todd Kennedy, James Kincaid, Gilbert Corsi here with the call of the action. And there have been some shaky movements in the women's division as of late, of course, in Golden Opportunity. We have a brand new number one contender on the West Coast bracket, that being Savannah Stone. And of course, Gilbert over on the uh, on the east side, you've got your own Marty Bell. Yeah, the committee already placed Marty Bell in the number one seed in the East Division as the Dominican Dynamite has been undefeated in Derby City Wrestling. And introducing her opponent from Goodyear, Arizona, the megastar, Brittany Brooks. And talking about Savannah Stone, here's somebody who's had not one but two run-ins with unbreakable Savannah Stone, that being, being Brittany Brooks. And Brittany is coming off of a victory, albeit by disqualification, but a victory nonetheless over the number one contender for the West bracket. And that's got it to the heads when it comes to the to the committee. Absolutely, a win is a win in the box score and a chance to double up and really build some momentum if Brittany Brooks is able to get by Johnny Robbie. And guys, that's what this match is all about. I mean, every contest that we see in the women's division, I know our female competitors are thinking about the seeding for the upcoming Women's World Championship Tournament. Pecking order is huge, and Johnny Robbie coming off a razor close loss to Zeta Zane. What a war that was. That was super physical because, of course, that matchup was to, to determine who would get a shot at Savannah Stone at the Golden Opportunity to earn that buy in the tournament which that is a, a huge advantage to have, which Marty Bell and Savannah Stone both have, but now you want to make the bracket. You want to get in. Yeah. It's win and in at this point. Yeah, and if you're, if you're Johnny Robbie, you want to just be able to rebound, bounce off that loss. Again, like you said, narrow defeat. You want to get back on track in a big time way and have an emphatic win here. You know, Robbie, of course, was known as a rookie sensation in 2022 in the, in the United Wrestling Network. She had victories over people like Alex Gracia. Uh, oh, my goodness, what a shot. Uh, Danielle Camella and, and Viper. So, yeah, she knows. Uh, but in wrestling, it's not about your resume. It's about what you've done lately. It's about your last match. Yeah, but certainly no stranger to success, as you pointed out, is Johnny Robbie. And, you know, I got to say, it seems like she's turned over a little bit of a new leaf. We saw, started to see with Zeta Zhang. And now seeing some more of that mean streak. Here wow. she just deposits Brittany Brooks right into the post face first. Yeah, we'll talk about Mercy. a mean streak right to the hardest point of the ring. You can talk about apron all you want. It's the post. And Johnny Robbie just introduced Brittany Brooks. Brooks to that and it was so interesting to see Johnny Robbie take on Zeta Zane because they were on the same side of the equation for quite some time here because Robbie out. goes for the cover and and that was a close call for Johnny Robbie in that matchup with Zang just fell victim to the snowplow as many have yeah a little bit of I think frustration peeking through but Johnny Robbie now just trying to choke out Brittany Brooks after saying her face first in that post Guys, when we talk about the competition in this women's division, let's think about this. Unitas is a multi-brand company. We've got Memphis, we've got Derby City, we got the championship wrestling roster. There may not and is likely not space for every woman in the company in the tournament. So you have got to know in the back of these competitors' minds that every move, every minute matters. Look at the agility by Brittany Brooks. Outside, inside, with the elbow, with authority into the cover. Looking to put her away. And I gotta tell you this, guys. 
uh, I think that Brittany Brooks has turned a lot of heads. She just graduated high school, 18, wow. and you're coming up on 19 years of age. She doesn't carry herself that way. No. Competitors start younger and younger. I see it all the time in the world of MMA, but now you see it in professional wrestling as well. And, and I think Johnny Robbie perhaps sees a little bit of her past self in Brittany Brooks and maybe doesn't like it. Like, hey, you know, I was the rookie phenom. I still want to sit on that perch as, as the rising star of this company and become that women's champion. And when you're young, you're full of fire, and you want to attack the world, and anything in front of you that is what we see here in Brittany Brooks and, and we saw it in Brittany Brooks when she took on Savannah Stone who is one of the most physically dominant competitors that we've ever seen maybe the most physically yes. dominant in the women's division in the United Wrestling Network and Brittany Brooks did not shy from that fight not once but twice and that is saying something yeah, didn't back down, and she's shown a lot of heart here against Johnny Robbie as well, able to weather that storm, weather that shot into the post, but Johnny Robbie just clubbing the back of the head of Brooks, and then a kick to the face, almost almost toying with Brooks now, is Johnny Robbie. And guys, I gotta, I gotta mention, as, as we are collectively the broadcast team for the entire United Wrestling Network, how exciting is it that it's palpable now? The United Wrestling Network oh. World Women's title is so close on the horizon. We've waited for years for that. Is Johnny Robbie goes to the cover after the Roughneck Tactics. It, it's finally going to happen. Yeah, we've been talking about this, this coming women's championship for months. Uh, it may even be a year, TK, and it is finally within grasp right now. And I know for the women in every division of United, they are clamming, clamoring to be the first women's champion to stand atop the mountain first and you talked about it guys that johnny robbie was just coming off her rookie year but she seems like the grizzled veteran she seems like the ring general in this matchup very physical is johnny robbie in total control in this very pivotal matchup in the women's division we got to take a break we'll be back right after this if you're afraid to offend you can't be honest that's Thomas Paine, a leader in the American Revolution. CarShield, America's most trusted auto protection company, spells out what's protected in coverage plans for your vehicle. If your vehicle is out of warranty, all you have to do is call before your car breaks down. CarShield preserves your right to save on repairs or replacements for major parts and systems, while protecting your freedom to choose your mechanic or dealer for one affordable pay-as-you-go rate, a rate that will never go up. The future of this country rests on the people. The future of your car should rest with CarShield administrators. Call CarShield before it's too late. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in costs for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantees. Call 800-453-5896. 800-453-5896. Wash all you want. Don't drive dirty. Welcome back, everyone, with the Golden Opportunity Spectacular in the rearview mirror. Women's division action is important as ever, and we're back with the action here, and it has been a very physical battle between Brittany Brooks and Johnny Robbie, and look at the physicality from the youngster. Tremendous heart and determination on display from Brooks, trying to string it together, and she does. Robbie reeling now, Brooks into the cover, could be another big time win for Brooks, not yet, not to be. And it was a huge upset against Savannah Stone. It was by disqualification, then Zeta Zayn got involved, hit Stone with the snow, snow plow after the fact. But it goes down in the record book sure. as, as a notch in the wind column over Stone, who is the oh. number one contender. What a strike. You see that knee? Oh, look at, she looked for this against Zeta Zayn multiple times. Signs. The package popped oh. right into the backbreaker. Sealed and delivered from Johnny Robbie. 
I thought that might have been enough. I'm surprised Robbie didn't go for the cover right there, She's guys. Not content, but that one might have been the knockout blow into, into the, the cover. cover. Yes, here we go. Leg. Deep hook of the leg. That brings a whole new meaning to the term rule breaker when you talk about Johnny Robbie. Are you not impressed with the grit, the heart here of Brittany Brooks? That would have beaten many other female competitors on the United roster. Incredible ability just to get that shoulder off the mat. Still clutching at her face, but still able to evade and offer some offense. But for how much longer? Brooks trying to hang with Johnny Robbie. Who's going to get the better of this? Elbow to the face, ripcord knee. Robbie wow. could be out now. Look at this, Dragon Sleeper, what she have in mind? Takes her 12 to six on the clock. Tick tock, one, two, three, no. Two and three quarters, says referee Chris Massey. Another great battle in the women's division of the United Wrestling And Network. if you're the committee and you are coming up with the bracketing for the women's oh. title tournament, it's not just the victory, it's not just the way you win, it's also the way you lose here. Because these, this match has been oh, look incredibly out. close. There's only so many spots. There it is, the rule breaker. Stacks are up. Johnny Robbie back to her winning ways. You mentioned, guys, it's what, it's the what have you done for me lately mentality. Brittany Brooks got a victory over Savannah Stone, and Johnny Robbie was coming off the loss to Zeta Zane, but another pivotal win for Johnny Robbie. You've got to believe the committee will back into that. And it looks like Johnny Robbie talking a little trash to move a huge victory for the rule breaker. More action coming your way. On championship wrestling, more great action from the women's division. You gotta love it. We'll be back. Take a peek out of darkness. All right, fans, I'm joined backstage now by Kevin Martinson, who was thrown a curveball last week as Bateman sent a new challenger your way. Kevin, what are your thoughts on that? Bateman, Bateman, Bateman. Looky what I still have. So I don't know if your plan was to send your boy over here to soften me up for you, if you thought he was gonna somehow win this and just hand it over to you. Either way though, whatever you're thinking, it didn't work. Now, if you wanna keep playing mind games with me, you go right ahead. But I don't know if this is a mind that you wanna be messing around in. Bateman, I'll see you whenever you're ready. Outlaw, Big Hoss, and the Saint of Skin Row, Rob McKnight, the Wild West. We've seen what McKnight and Big Hoss could do as a unit under the tutelage at one point of the great veteran former TV champion Levi Shapiro. We'll see what they got in store in tag team action. Aaron Williams trying to be a big time thorn in their side. Aaron Williams has said he's going to find a partner from the crowd. Wow. You thinking about stepping up, Gilbert? From the crowd. That's okay. brass. Who bought a ticket? I'm paid to be here. Fair. And introducing their opponents. First, from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 210 pounds, the Dead Ringer, Aaron Williams. Is this even legal? Like, how is that going to work? How do you pull a tag team partner from the crowd? I, 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 will this be oh, safe? Perhaps a waiver? Is it safe? He's, I mean, he's taking a walk. Maybe scouting who his partner could be. I'm trying to see if there's any eligibles in the crowd. I'm seeing if there's uh, uh, anybody who looks athletic. All right, you can cut that music. I liked Hollywood so much that I decided to stick around a little longer. And I'm sure you're all very, very glad about that. Well, that's a shame, actually, because I was actually coming out here to give all of you a very unique opportunity. As you can see, there are two men standing across from me. And there's only one of me. And although I'm sure I can handle myself quite well, it would be much easier if I had a partner. So, let me inform all of you that if you have a ticket stub, 
then you are in the runnings to be my tag team partner. That's right, you heard me right. I am going to choose one of you to be my partner in the main event. So show me those ticket stubs. Let me look around and see the talent that I got to choose from. There's a lot of people raising their hands. That's, that's not bad. That's, that's a tough looking that's not kid bad, right actually. there. You know, he's pretty jacked up. Yeah, that's a good looking dude. I saw, I saw a guy with We the, got with anybody the back here in the back? Rose anybody want anything? Like Rowan? We got one here, huh? Let me let me turn on, let me look out through the glasses there. No? Wait a minute, I think I know who I'm going to choose. Oh, he's found him. All right, who's it going to be? I mean, a kid was once a tag team title owner in the WWE. True. Does our insurance cover this? Him. Who he does? I don't know. Not, not me. He's pointing oh, to you, yeah, not yeah, me. No, oh, oh, my, oh, no. my God. I should have known. Wait a minute. I should have known. <laughs> Lord That's true. a buying ticket there. This, right this guy, you were, you were banned. I'm a paying customer to this fine event. Lord Crew has made his return to the Irvine Improv. He was banished, and guess who he was banished by? He was pinned by Rob McKnight in a loser leave town match. Talk about a technicality. That's how we wound up with Lord Crew down in Derby City. Is yeah, when he got the that. boot from this yeah, grade. Sorry about that. From, from Hollywood. And it's underway. It's official now. Technicality or not, Lord Crew back in action and alongside I Aaron Williams. And I should have known because Lord Crew and Aaron Williams became fast friends in Derby City Wrestling with their Cincinnati connection. Yeah, I was going to say a couple Cincinnati sluggers here. And t tell us, you know, what they've done as a tandem at Derby oh, City. Again, they're the reason that we haven't seen Willie Mack in months. It was the night that Willie Mack was supposed to face Aaron Williams and, and Lord Crew alongside Jake something, and Mack went missing. Meeting of the minds, and a big boot there by Big Hoss, and one by McKnight as well. Cleaning house. Wild West starting to rally, bringing the improv to life here. And then Lord Crew might be heading back to Derby City already. I don't, I don't think Aaron Williams wants any part of this. Maybe they no, should no, head no, to the no, crowd no. and get somebody. We gotta take a break. This wild action continues next. I love to drive. It's my me time, my getaway, my escape. Nothing can ruin it except for a car breakdown. That's why I called CarShield. CarShield administrators help get those repairs paid. I trust CarShield with my baby, and you should too. CarShield has plans that include protection on major parts and systems like the engine, transmission, entertainment system, air conditioning, electronics, and more. CarShield administrators go the extra mile by including rental car options. You also get emergency services for flat or damaged tires, lockouts, dead batteries, and courtesy towing, all at no additional cost. Darlings, saving on expensive car repairs is just a phone call away. For me, it's a no-brainer. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in costs for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call crack. Wash all you want. Don't drive dirty. Welcome back everyone to this uh, tag team main event. Aaron Williams during the break he seemed a little uh, did not want to exactly jump back into action Yeah, here. some buyer's remorse, perhaps, in entering the tag team fray against Wild West. Is Rob McKnight taking it to him? Yeah, Rob McKnight could spoil Lord Crew's night again. 
McKnight never met a fight he didn't like. You'll remember history books will dictate that McKnight was just trying to earn a paycheck as a, as a cable wrangler when he ran head to head with Lord Crew. That got physical and that opened the door. Shapiro saw something at McKnight and here we see him now as an active competitor in the United yeah, Wrestling Yeah, out from the crowd came Rob McKnight and now out from the crowd coming back to haunt him is Lord Crew. Thought we had seen the last of him here. Crew and Aaron Williams, a lethal tag team wow. in Derby City. That was a rough ride there for Williams. <laughs> Into the cover goes the big guy. Big men are not supposed to move like that, CK. That is correct. That is correct. And I, I think it took everything that uh, Aaron Williams had to kick out of that with all that body weight down. And I'll tell you, Big Hoss can cause big damage. Yeah, absolutely. He's, he is playing his trade well right now. And the crowd chanting, imploring him once more with feeling, and Haas was willing to oblige. Heavy hitter. Big scoop and a slam from Haas. The dead ringer might be dead to rights if this continues, guys. And looking to assist Rob McKnight, a little variation, fastball special. Colossus would be proud. And Aaron think... Williams needs to make a tag. Here's the cover. I, I like to say that uh, Aaron Williams and Lord Croom, they're always plotting, they're always planning, they're always scheming, but I do not think that this is the uh, the night that they intended yeah, not here at the improv. Their playbook, that's for sure. Oh, Lord Crew with a cheap shot. Well, yeah, and when you got Crew out there, I mean, talk about talk about a ringer. I mean, he typifies that for sure. Somebody that was banished from this program finds his way back, courtesy of a technicality, and now finds himself in the ring and the merciless one looking to live up to that moniker. Crew and Williams also hold a victory over the United oh, Champion Danny Limelight, albeit in tag team action with uh, Jake something in Derby City, but a win nonetheless. And I think that really goes to show uh, again the uh, the chaos, the the, the, yeah, the, the cover of the team up against the ropes there, and McKnight having to dig down deep and kick out. And uh, I I do gotta believe that the the experience as a team favors. The Cincinnati Sluggers here, sure. if you will, and Lord Crew and Aaron. Williams. I think he may have just named this team. My work. It's got a ring to it. I don't want to ask him though. No pun intended with the dead ringer. But Lord oh, Crew. Disrespectful. Just disrespectful from Lord Crew. But that might have woken up McKnight trying to fight his way out of the corner and just one clubbing blow. And sends him back down to his and knees. So can, and we the blame, can we blame Bateman for this? Because remember, it was Bateman who brought in Aaron Williams to face Kevin Martinson for the Heritage title a couple weeks ago. Can we blame Bateman for infecting in the cover now? I think that's fair. I'd like to blame uh, Bateman for several things. <laughs> Lord no Crew. About it. Back into the improv here. But yeah, but you gotta you gotta wonder. You gotta think Lord Crew loves seeing McKnight get punishment. He's, re he's relishing every moment of this. This he is this is revenge for Lord yes, Crew. Indeed. Vengeance on his mind. And right now Williams taking it to McKnight. Applying his trade as wrestling's most violent artist. Oh decades of martial arts expertise, Kempo, karate, jiu-jitsu, you just a lethal striker. And it's the shots you don't see coming, and, and McKnight didn't see that one coming right to the spine. Your, your legs could go limp in a hurry with a shot like that. And McKnight, though, he's just such a fighter, a, a, a true scrapper. I mean, like you said, he was just trying to earn a paycheck and ended up in this crazy world of pro wrestling, but he might not be in it for long. What a, what a backbreaker. Oh, God, could be lights out for McKnight. I think you're seeing how effective that this tag team is and can be cover here. McKnight's in trouble, but he's out in two. And there you saw the, the, the lethal combination that these two can be. Great tag team continuity, a double team offense, and it's all Crew and Williams right now. Yeah, continuity is king in the tag ranks. And the two boys from Cincinnati are putting on a technical display of that. Through one of the more well-traveled competitors in the United Wrestling Network. We were first introduced no. to him in Championship Wrestling from Atlanta. He's here in the improv and the in Derby City as well. Tag is made though, and here comes the big guy. Little double lariat by Big Hoss, who's going to work. He has never met a tussle he didn't like. And look at this, big scoop and a slam. Doesn't have to be pretty for the big guy, but very effective. Big Absolutely. Hoss just use any, any part of his body, his head, his, his gut, his leg, whatever. Oh, nowhere to go, but down to Boot Hill. Big Hoss 
sends Aaron Williams right into the That's cover. That's gonna do it. Oh man, how did Williams kick out? I, I kid you not, folks at home, believe me when I say, when Big Haas hits the mat or he slams you, the ground shakes here at the commentary table. Yeah, when you got crew out there on the corner, I'll tell you, when Haas is in the ring, it brings a whole new meaning to Earth Shatter. Some serious reverberation, but that kick had some salt on it, doubled over as Big Haas, and back in comes Horseless Lord Crew, but no mercy from Haas, right into the cover. Not three. Took him around the world there. What a slam by Haas, but not enough. And I'll tell you, Crew and Williams have both showed a lot of tenacity Eating oh. some of this punishment. Uh oh. Haas saw, saw it coming. Haas saw it coming. Haas saw that coming and makes both Crew and Williams pay. Snatched out of midair is the dead ringer. Stacking them up. And a little reverse game of uh, Jenga going on here. And now look at this. Oh, there's so. that roundhouse. Wow. That was perfect timing on oh, that. Knee oh, right up the center. I have Top seen of the Lord giant. Crew turn lights out with the roundhouse. But he can only find two here. Haas still just has too much left, but the big man's down right now. The roundhouse bewildered the big guy, but that knee by Williams, just such concussion on that over the top. Look at the power of Big Haas. Look out. Like a rag doll. The Rhino's getting too close to the car. And well, here comes McKnight. And wouldn't this be great for McKnight? to finish off crew yes. yet again. Send them packing again. He, uh oh, uh oh, he's got, got, he's got that cane. Well, that's not gonna that fly. That doesn't go in this. I, th I think crew went low on Haas. Oh, no, William's not afraid to use that cane to crew. maim, destroy, or distract. I think crew went low. Crew's got him now. Up and down, earth shatter. And a successful return. Here Return. Well, at least it was a plan for these two by Lord Crew. Lord Crew returning to championship wrestling here at the Irvine Improv and stealing one and exacting some vengeance on Rob McKnight. It's just, just disgusting. Let's, not let's right. take a look back at the action. This entire match was a feast of physicality. But in the end, Aaron Williams, the distraction with the cane that opened the door, an earth-shattering return for the merciless one. And what does this mean for the future of Lord Blue? Is he reinstated? Taking full advantage of the summer showcase, guys. That's gonna be a question for the committee, but you, you can't question the dominance and the victory of these two. Just bruisers from Cincinnati. Lord Crew, Arian, Aaron Williams, dominant in victory here. And it's what the showcase is all about. Matches we never thought we'd see, and we certainly never thought we'd see Lord Crew back here in Irvine. Trouble and chaos has made its way to California. We'll see you next week when, once again, it's time to fight on, and nobody is going to want to fight these two.